Um, so here we want to quickly start uh, just building a visualization using our feature called Quick Start. And here we have, uh, when we click Quick Start, we have the view of all the different uh, data sources. And here you're seeing, um, uh, these are called business views, Worldwide Sales BV. That's what the, the BV stands for. A business view is a metadata layer that abstracts all the complexity in the data source uh, or database um, and exposes something much simpler to the end user. Um, so as an example, you know, on the right side, when you, when you select the Worldwide Sales BV, you can see very understandable readable uh, dimensions and measures. Um, you're not going to expose, you know, something more complex like the database schema, like uh, a table name C underscore, you know, customer. Um, you know, end users don't want to see that level of complexity. So um, what a business view is a metadata layer that maps all of that complexity into something that's uh, much easier to use. Um, so the business view is a very critical component of, of uh, what makes it, uh, how it makes it uh, the JIRAport uh, end users usability. Uh, in a much uh, streamlined fashion. So let's select Worldwide Sales BV. We'll go down and select Country, uh, and then Sales Year, and Total Sales. So after you've selected your dimensions and measures, you click OK, and right away you see your data in the table. Okay? If you want a table and this is it, then, then you're done. You, know, you can save this as a component or as an entire report and, and be on your way. Uh, but most people want to kind of um, you know, make this into something more visual. So what they will do is um, start to kind of change this and modify and, 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 and morph it in different uh, visualizations uh, however they want. Uh, one way is to change it into a pivot table. Okay, they click on a, a button here, a cross tab button. Um, but let's say they change their mind, they want to add another uh, dimension or measure. So, um, so they want to add something like uh, total cost. Easily drag that over and now you have uh, four columns. Okay, so you have country sales, your total cost, total sales. You can look at it at a, at a, as a pivot table. Um, but, you know, in this case, I want to remove it. I want to um, uh, take this out. You can just easily delete it. Um, and now I want to change this into a visualization. Um, and before I continue, I want to show you a, a, a new feature is partial data mode. If you're dealing with a very large subset and you don't want to wait for all the data to be, to be fetched over, you can select partial data mode with a you know, limited number of rows that's gonna retrieve, but we're not dealing with a lot of data here, so I'll set it to full data mode. Um, so this is the initial table, and you can quickly change it to a bar chart just by just using a one-click conversion, uh, a stacked bar chart, line chart, area chart. You know, it's very easy to convert these things to, to different visualizations. Um, and let's say I wanna add another one. So I wanna add another table. Again, you, it pops open the, uh, the, um, the data sources, and I want to select the same things, uh, and I press OK. And here I just want to leave it as a cross tab. So I just click on the cross tab icon there, and I'm done. I can save this as individual components, or I can save it as an entire report, right? And I can share this with uh, different users in my group or in other groups. All right, so it's very easy, uh, just with a few clicks of the button, to be able to create a report. Uh, individual visualizations, uh, different widgets, uh, uh, all in a very streamlined fashion.